Hey, what's up, beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Today I'm going to be doing the EH video for you guys. We're going to be talking all about white spot removal, basically. Um, I definitely want to be talking about this for other colors too, but I thought that white was pr pretty straightforward and pretty easy to start with because um, white is probably my favorite magic color. It's been my favorite magic color since I started playing magic basically and um I think that white has seriously some of the best removal in the game in my opinion I'm like a huge huge fan so um it's very very close tie for me I love white but black has also become one of my favorite like ma magic colors like recently so I just it, it's a pretty even tie but like I've got like angels edh and that that deck like means so much to me because it's one of the first like angels are one of the first card types that I got into in magic so you know all right cool so we're gonna be talking about spot removal in EDH. So the first card I want to talk about is Swords to Plowshare. And this card's like, okay, it's exile target creature at instant speed, and they gain life. And what I really like about this is it's all like, it's exile target speed target creature, which is great because you want to exile things, because sometimes sometimes you just can't destroy things. Sometimes things are indestructible and you're like, how do I do that? Um, really, really good. They don't have to be attacking or anything which to condemn, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But like, you're all just like, exile it, yo, uh, whatever. And then it's all like, you gain a bit of life and you don't really care about that because you're getting rid of something like super, super scary, like Ulamog or Kozilek or like some other really big thing that you like can't even deal with. So yeah, short supply share is super great. Um, cool. The next card is uh, Path to Exile. Um, if you have a little bit of money to spend and you're like, hey, I want a really good removal card, um, I would definitely recommend Path, which is like really good in like, in, um, I totally lost something that I was gonna say, but Path is really good because, oh yeah, yeah, it's really good in EDH because like you give them a lands, which you probably don't even really care about because you're playing EDH and people just run a lot of mana ramp and mana rocks and things like that. So you're just like, yeah, I'll give you another one. I don't really care at that point. So, uh, so uh, Path to Exile is really good. Then we have Banishing Light, and I love Banishing Light because it- wait, does Banishing Light get rid of- I always- I feel like I'm getting- I'm getting this confused with another card. I think Banishing Light gets only rid of- it gets rid of anything, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So Banishing Light just gets rid of, like, anything, which is, like, really, really great because you're all just like, hey, I don't like your thing. It doesn't have to be anything. It can be a creature, it can be a planeswalker, it can be an artifact, an enchantment, anything that you cannot deal with, you're like, Vanishing light it it goes away until the enchantment goes away. So yeah, this card is really good Then we're gonna talk about uh, Council's judgment and this card is a really really awesome politics card A lot of people say that EDH is primarily like about politics playing politics and Council's judgment is all just like hey You're all like I think this thing is bad and then someone else is like I think that thing is bad and then things get exiled and it's just really really good and potentially multiple things can get exiled and that is just like so a plus and i i really do tend to feel like you know like i said if something is really a th really threatening thing on board a lot of people like you know even if they're friends tend to be like hey you know maybe that thing is pretty bad and we should deal with that so yeah council judgment is like really good um okay cool then we have condemn and um i actually just talked about condemn in my blue white control list which will be up at some point and basically like this card is really sweet it can't be redirected with spellscape we talked about this in the video but this card is like really awesome because creatures got to be attacking but still you get to exile something and you put it on top of uh, i'm sorry on the bottom of their library um it's just a one mana remove removal spell basically it's really good and there's also a really sweet full art for it which is like really good uh, cool. And then we have, um, Grasp of Fate. And I remember when I first saw this card, I was like, this is like the, th this is, this is politics in EDH in a magic card, basically, because it's all like, everyone's all like, oh man, I really want to kill the Grasp of Fate, but if I kill the Grasp, if I get rid of the Grasp of Fate, then like everyone's thing is going to come back and it's not just my thing. So this card is just like the ultimate politics card in my head because it's just like if someone is like I really need that thing to be taken care of because it messes up my game plan but they really want their thing back they have to be like they have to make some sacrifices basically so this card is just all around really really good you're just dealing with like a bunch of different things that you just can't really answer in one card for three mana it's really really good um okay this card is really really sweet and that is um a card that just came out in uh, Battle for Tendakar and that is um Stasis Snare I really like this card a lot because it's this weird instant speed enchantment thing. It's so strange. I kind of like it. So you're all just like, 
yeah, I don't like your creature. Instance, you put an enchantment on it or something like that, which is really good. Um, so yeah, I, I like Stasis Nair a lot. I played with it a bit in Modern, it was like really sweet. Okay, um, I've been talking a lot about like creature removal and things like that, but I want to talk a little bit about artifact and enchantment removal. Return to Dust. I'm a huge fan of these cards that are all like, if you do it during your, it's instant, it's an instant, but if you do it during your turn, you get to like do an additional thing, which is like really good. There's like a there's like a board wipe. There's like that white board wipe. I think that like does that or something. Um, yeah, it, it, is it? Wait, what is that thing? It's like seven mana. I can't think of what it is right now, but it's something like if you you get to like do an additional thing if you cast it during your turn or something like that, which is really sweet. So basically, um, I really like it because one, it's exile, which is amazing. You're you know a lot of this the stuff that I talked about. I noticed it's like I said doesn't really do destroy. It's a lot of like exiling things so that they are they're gone, they don't really have a good, they don't have a way of coming back, which is really good. Um, and the fact that you, it's artifact or enchantment, I always love having the option in those, which is just like really sweet, which is actually a segue into my um, next card, which is Fate Forgotten. This is, this card doesn't look like anything super special, but I really like this card a lot because it's instant speed, it's three mana, mm, but you get rid of an artifact or enchantment and it's really, really, really good. I really like this card, like, uh, it's just one of my favorite white removal cards. So definitely, definitely something you want to check out. Um, cool. Okay, then this this is a card that I actually forgot about, and I was I was prepping this list, and I was like, I don't know how I like came across this card, and I was like, wow, I like totally forgot about this card. It's one of my best friend Justin's favorite card, and that is Oblation, and I love this card because, and I actually didn't really say this with a lot of the other cards like Condemn or um path or swords um a lot of times sometimes you'll find that it's actually the right move to do it on one of your creatures and that sounds kind of weird you're like why would i waste a removal spell on you know my creature or something but sometimes you really need life sometimes you really need a land sometimes you really need to draw two cards and that's what oblation is really really good for it gets shuffle it's not land permanent so it's theoretically anything which is really really amazing and if you're if you're like getting rid of something that you just can't deal with, it's shuffling back into the library and they get to draw two cards. You probably really don't care about them drawing two cards because you're just like, eh, whatever. You have two cards, but I got rid of your super scary thing. So oblation is really really good. And I I had to save the best for last because if you know me, if you know me at all, you know that Oblivion Ring is one of my all time favorite magic cards. Like. I don't know if you quite understand just how much I love this card. I'm going to show you just how much I love this card. You doubted me. I have a collection of Oblivion Rings. These are altars that my friend did for me. They're really beautiful and I really like them a lot. And then we got Oblivion Rings, more Oblivion Rings, and the page kind of just leans off there. But yeah, basically, um, collective Oblivion Rings. It's like really, really good. Um, and that's why like people always mess with me because they're always like, huh, Banishing Light's better. I'm like, they're the same thing. Um, yeah, I, I just can't say enough good things about this card. It gets rid of anything. It just, it, you're just like, I don't like your thing. Go away. You don't really care. Um, and it just, it's just it's really, really good. I like that card a lot, evidently. So yeah, cool. Um, yeah. That's all I got guys, that was it for um, talking about uh, spot removal in EDH, specifically talking about um, white spot removal, but definitely be talking about a bunch of the other colors because, um, you know, there's some solid cards out there that I want to talk about, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, take it easy, enjoy the rest of your day slash night, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!